I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia's ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We don't want any Terramore storming through here. Need some work done? Hmm, let's see here. Hank, Hank, no one by that name. Oh, wait, here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. 
Good luck. Just passing through. What's up? Pardon. Man, Sidonia blows. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Oh, do you now? Well, you're not wrong. I do have something to do with it. In fact, I'm the one who took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Hmm. Well, shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Sure, fine. I get it. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Your instincts are correct here, I think. Hank is not to be trusted. I haven't seen you in a while. Howdy. You have a child between between five to eight. Enroll them in the Science and Learning program today. Your children will be providing a program that teaches them art, science, mathematics, and history. Science and web. All in the comfort of your own home. We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. You'd think someone would have invented a way to keep rocks out of food. Just a little further. you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it really was uh, the perfect plan.
You know, it's too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? A cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> Was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? unloaded, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Wait, really? Even if I don't go to jail? Well, when you say it like that, maybe you got a point. Damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me, especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least I'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. I am not sure he deserves anyone going easy on him. But at least you managed to keep this from becoming worse.
Crime's at an all-time low around Sidonia. Let's keep it that way. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. As much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. Well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to minors and anyone else that's been down in the Red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. Used to be a sign someone was ready for the Red Devils. And some of the ex-Red Devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, well, I'll put them in their place. Be seeing you around. Sidonian City Security is here to keep you safe. If you see something suspicious, please don't hesitate. If you see any trouble, let us know. Security officer. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. Stay out of trouble. Stay away from the Sixth Circle unless you're a minor. Or at least, don't come crying to me if anything happens to you. The locals tend to stay out of trouble. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Again, I'm real sorry, but I'll do the time and make things right. It's rare that we get a criminal turning himself in like this. And the fact that there's no real damage to speak of is going to help his case. I'm sure those will both be points in his favor. Good work, and thanks. All right, let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. I hope nothing bad happens. Looking for any luck? Yeah, I heard. Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Failure to comply with this ordinance will result in fines not exceeding 5,000 credits. It really helped us, you know. Thanks again.